Hey guys, welcome to another video. So with semi-annual sale being now, um, I wanted to look through my collection and see what I considered at this moment my top 10 uh, Victoria's Secret pink body sprays. So when I look through, these are the ones that I feel like right now, top 10, of course, in the future that could change. Um, and so I'm going to go over these. Uh, some of them actually are in my recommendations videos and some aren't. So if I have a video for them, they will be down in the description box um, so that you can check out, you know, a more in-depth kind of review of each because I'm going to try to be as quick as possible on this one. I'm going to quickly go over notes, but um, it won't be like my other videos um, where I kind of give a huge review. So if you want to check out my top 10 Victoria's Secret and just, you know, some quick thoughts, keep on watching. Okay, so the first one is Tropic Vanilla. The notes are coconut flower and chilled vanilla. So this actually is a recommendation for me and one that I will be looking for at semi-annual sale um, because I really enjoy this. So um, if you see it and you like uh, like a vanilla coconut, it's worth picking up. The thing that I have said before about pink that I really like is that they're softer scents. It doesn't necessarily mean they don't last as long, but to me, pink tends to not be as perfumey as the Victoria's Secret um, version. So even though, for example, this is Tropic Vanilla, I feel like you could wear this all year long. Like, I don't think it's just a summertime scent. And part of that, I think, is the combination of coconut and vanilla but also because pink scents aren't like super heavy and, you know, the tendency for them to be clawing is low. So that is Tropic Vanilla. Okay, next we have Coconut Woods. And Coconut Woods is also in my recommendations. I won't be looking for this only because I have backups. Um, so I'm good to go there. But I really enjoy this scent. It is warm sandalwood and salty coconut. So for me... Um, this is another one that I feel like you can wear all year long. It's just a nice sandalwood coconut um, scent. I think the addition of the sandalwood for me is what makes it one of those that definitely is all year long and a good pickup. If I didn't have backup, I definitely would be looking for this and grab some at the semi-annual sale. Okay, basic vanilla. So this is a scent that was out last year. They brought it back out this year and this is vanilla marshmallow and warm chai i really really enjoy this um, vanilla scent and it's one of those that for me i really again feel like you can wear this all year long but this also is great for layering um, i feel like if you ever want to sweeten something up you can throw this in there um, and that chai to me if it wasn't there this would smell different but this doesn't smell like chai, if that makes any sense. So um, for me, I do have one back of this and I'm back and forth on whether or not I want to get another one. Um, I Honestly, it'll depend on whether or not, you know, what I find. Um, and I do plan on sticking to a very strict budget. So there's that. So I may or may not um, get a back of this, an additional backup because I do have a backup of this. Um, well, this is my backup, um, but really enjoyed. If you like vanilla, I can't imagine you wouldn't like this. If you like marshmallow, I can't. I think you would like this um, because it, you can definitely smell both, and it's just really nice and balanced. I don't think it's too sweet. Um, I think it's actually just a nice and down the middle kind of vanilla. Okay, so of course this had to be in here. Um, Bear Vanilla Heat is spiced mango and solar coconut. This actually is my favorite bear vanilla even over the original Bear Vanilla. Now, I love the original Bear Vanilla, um, but this is actually my favorite one. I have um, two backups of this, actually, so I'm not looking for one, uh, but if I didn't have backups, I definitely would back this up. It's just a nice, um, a nice take on Bear Vanilla. It's not too sweet, and although this came out in the summer, to me, I feel like, again, this is one that you could wear all year long. Um, 
And just like I think with most of the bare vanillas, it's a scent where if you need something to kind of add a nice version of a vanilla to a scent, you can pick up, you know, one of the many bare vanillas um, that are available. But if you have not smelled this or if um, you're kind of unsure, if you see this as in my annual sale, it's definitely worth picking up um, because to me, this is one of the best flankers that they've done of the ones that I have smelled. So that is bare vanilla heat. Okay, so pure seduction heat is sparkling raspberry and sun-kissed hibiscus. Again, the, I love this pure seduction. Um, it's, you know, up there in one of my favorite pure seductions. Again, the heat collection in general, um, to me, is my favorite flankers of the ones I've smelled. Um, and, and so... I think any of the heat, if you see it, semi-annual sale is worth picking up. I'm not looking at for this at semi-annual sale because I have a backup. Um, but And this is in my recommendation video, which I'll link below. And I did an extensive uh, review on all of the core vanilla se Vin Victoria Secret, <laughs> sorry guys, scents, and that'll be listed below too. But if you like pure seduction, you're going to really like pure seduction heat. and so that is pure seduction heat. Okay, Victoria's Secret Temptation. This is luscious apple and desert flower. Um, to me, this is a really nice apple scent. I think people who like apple, like me, will like this. But people who kind of don't like apple or scents like um, Bath and Body Works, Winter Candy Apple, if like that's too much for you, I think Temptation is a nice apple scent that wouldn't be too much. So even if you aren't an apple lover, or if you were to see this, I'm um, at semi-annual sale. I think you should check it out. Uh, if you are an apple lover um, and you don't have this, I think you should check it out. Um, this used to be in the store all the time and then they took it away. You can still find it like on Amazon and Macari. But um, if you see this at SAS, grab it. Um, if I see it at SAS, I actually will plan on picking it up um, because it's just a really nice apple scent and I like apples. Um, I think this is an apple that is appropriate year round where for me <clears throat> excuse me winter candy apple is a colder month apple whereas this one i think i could you can wear this year round so um temptation made my top 10 list because i think it's just really nice and well done okay nectar drip so this is jasmine nectar and white praline this literally just came out in some stores I actually still have it the last time I went to the store closest to me, they didn't have any more. Um, but if they do have some and you like Jasmine, you'll like this. I mean, I literally just got this and it already made it to my top 10. And this was like an easy, this is definitely going into my top 10. I recommended it to people. Um, it's on my recommendations video. Um, I have bought it for people. I have backups, so I don't need any. I like this so much that I actually bought the lotion and I don't tend to buy Victoria's Secret lotions um, because to me they're a little runny, but um, this is just a really nice floral and I actually feel like this could take me into the summer. It might be a little soft for like hardcore summer. I don't think it might, it would stand up, but I think this would be perfect for like mixing in the summertime with say Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. You could mix this with that and that'd be a great date night scent. But I don't think, you know, this is one that can stand up kind of without that type of help in the summertime. With that being said, I'm not a person that tends to buy, to wear body mist on their own out. If I just have on a body mist, it's probably because I'm either not leaving the house and even then I probably will throw on something like a soft fragrance or it's to wear to bed. So, um... I probably would never wear this alone anyway, unless I was, like I said, throwing it on at night to go to sleep, which this one to me, if I do lightly, is one that I could definitely, you know, put on and go to sleep if I felt like smelling it. So if you see this and you like Jasmine, you know, I, I definitely think you'll enjoy this. And of the scents that they came out in this collection, this is actually the only one that I liked. Um, so that is Victoria's Secret's Nectar Drip. Okay, Pineapple Cove. Oh my goodness. So I am looking for this. I'll be sad if I don't find it. I only got one of these and by the time I realized how much I liked it, 
they were nowhere to be found. So Pineapple Cove is pink pineapple and neon papaya. When I tell you this is, if it's not my favorite pineapple ever, it's in the top five of my favorite pineapple scents. Um, Victoria's Secret did this right. Like This is just a nice, well done pineapple. So if I see it, I'm definitely going to get it because I literally only have one. Um, and if you see it and you like pineapple, just grab it because I just can't imagine you wouldn't like this if you're a pineapple person. Now, if you're not a pineapple person, obviously, that's completely a different thing. And if you're not a pineapple person, I say still smell this because this is just really good. It might change your mind on your love of pineapple. So that is Pineapple Cove. Amaretto Fizz. Amaretto Fizz is almond coffee and orange blossom. Again, this literally just came out again uh, not that long ago. It's still in the store. You know, um, some stores, the last time I went, they had the other ones of this, but they didn't have any Amaretto Fizz in the store. Um, so there's that. I do have one backup of this. And depending upon kind of what I find at Victoria's Secret and the, what my budget's looking like, like, say I get in there and I don't really find anything and I see this, I would back it up. Um, if I get in there and I hit my budget, then this wouldn't make the cut because I do have a backup. But I really enjoy this. To me, um, I've said it before, I feel like this is um, the big sexy sister of Bath and Body Works Vanilla Mocha Cafe. Um, so really, really enjoy it. And again, if depending upon my budget, um, I would definitely pick this up if I had some room in my budget. But it's just something about this. And this is one too that I also, also bought the um, lotion and I think they just pair so well together. Um, so that is Amaretto Fizz. Okay, so last but not least is Love Spilled and Untamed. And this is Forest Pear and Apricot Nectar. So I will say this is the surprise even for me in this list I am not a love spell fan and no offense to people that like love spell just something about the original love spell I don't care for but this untamed this is my favorite of the love spells that I've kept in my collection um, which are love spell untamed love spell heat and love spell golden are the only three love spells that I kept I did buy love spell Lux, and it was okay but ultimately I decided to give it away as a gift um, because, in all honesty, it wasn't one that the one I wanted to keep. So this is just really nice. Um, this is what I would have wanted the original Love Spell to smell like. Um, but also peach, which is in the original Love Smell, that tends to not be a fragrance that works well with my skin. And it tends to give me a headache, which has always been my issue with Love Spell. Love Spell, even the smallest scent of it, I always feel like I'm on the verge of getting a headache um, and it just doesn't smell nice on me. I have smelled people like my 14 year old niece who wears love smell, love spell, and it smells really nice on her and it does not smell like that on me. But this one, Untamed, definitely a really nice one. And if you see the Untamed love spell or actually any of the Untamed, I think you should give them a try um, because it's really nice. Okay. So that's it. These are my current top 10 um, Victoria's Secret Mist. And like I said, since we're at semi-annual sale, I thought this would be a good time to kind of go over my top 10 so that if you, um, if some of the ones that, like I said, aren't in the recommendation videos are in here, and some of them are, actually I think more are than aren't, but um, again, this could change, you know, they could come out with something next year that, you know, blows my mind and knocks one or two or, you know, a few of these off of my top 10. I can't imagine pink pi uh, pineapple cove or nectar drip or tropic vanilla ever getting dropped out of my 10 um, or, or either the two heats, but you never know. Um, so uh, I hope that this video has helped. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And um, I, again, I will link, if I have a video for any of these, I'll link it down below. And that's it, guys. Um, I will see you at the next one. Bye.